What up, though? Paper Playboy, episode two. Today, man, we got some legends in the building. Coach Spence. We got that boy Cannon, Ricardo. And D Mar, the quarterback. Appreciate their presence today, man. We finna eat good. Today on the menu, man, we doing some chicken Alfredo with some honey glazed chicken. I always do some honey glazed chicken. I don't never put no regular chicken because I'm big poacher. And that's what we supposed to do, man. You gotta always add your little signature touch to some stuff, you know. Chicken breast, you can do some chicken thighs. You can do whatever you feel like doing. Just make sure it's some chicken. I always like to start my sauces with some onions. Nine times out of ten, you gonna see me cooking with some onions. A great base for a lot of sauces. There go that honey butter. I'm a person by repetition. Get you a little honey. Get you a little garlic. Get you some onions. Get you some butter. Some cream. You can make a lot of stuff with them. Now when that chicken. About, you know, three fourths done, almost done. You put that glaze over that boy. That's how you get that glisten. I got that from the TV dinners back in the day, man. My favorite was that Mary Calendar. Honey roasted chicken, the green box. It might be a little before y'all time, though. Now we finna get that sauce ready. It's real easy. If you can tell, it's all freestyle in this kitchen. Always. You can also go subscribe if you want to. Paper Playboy TV. This episode right here has been brought to you by Pretty Jaunty. And you ladies need your makeup done. Need your face did and you fellas need one of them facials, man. Get it right. Pretty Junty. Pretty J A U N T Y. Look it up on Instagram. Look it up on Facebook. I got you. Back to that good shit. Cream sauce. You can make that sauce now. I'm gonna put that cream in that boy. A little half and half, a little butter. It's all about that butter, baby. Get that to a nice little simmer. Season it up right. Don't go crazy though. You don't never want to get your sauce too salty. That chicken done. We're going to let it rest a little bit. I hope y'all still walking. It's light, but it's always right. Put your whole elbow in that boy. Straight parmesan. You can add what cheese you want to. I stole some cheese out of y'all leaf refrigerator. Huh? It, it was looking good. It was looking Italian. I had to get it. I threw me a little of that frozen broccoli in that boy. Some florets. Florets. However you call it, you know. Appreciate everybody that subscribed to me already. I appreciate all my viewers. I appreciate my boy Spence for helping me. This is what we do, man. We cook good over here. Oh, like life, baby. Cook that with anything. Any real life event, man. That's what I'm gonna I ain't so close to Hey, I'm so close to him. 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 i Right, I'm I'm gonna get back on y'all ass about this Drake dog. I really wanna know between y'all two. Why do y'all like Drake so much? You gotta tell me. It can't be just I mean, what are you talking about? The go to the go to what? Being a dirty macker, he made the most dirty macking song ever. No lie. No lie. Marvin's Room is probably one of the most disgusting. It's the most dirty hey, songs ever. Yeah. 
But I bet you something to it when he when he dropped it. I did. I know you did. Until you I really a Drake really fan? You a Drake fan that just don't want to admit it? I like you. I like The one thing I one thing I noticed about you, bro. Yeah. Same you stick to your guns or something. You're not gonna come back and retract. If you say you trash, then he gonna be trash for life. Yeah. What I always say about the room. You so, love him. We got no. Nice. Hold on. We got the, we screen got the screenshots. You love the bro. The screenshots is like being in the matrix, bro. It's not <laughs> going on. What I say? Locked in, bro. I don't know what happened. After. All I see was I love the bro. I dropped my phone after that, so I don't know what happened. After I love the bro. That's all I need to see. I don't need to see nothing. Nah, man. I think uh, Drake just make music that you know any and everybody can uh they can relate, relate to. It. Okay. And then when you think about you know the the time and what he hit, like you know for me, I think it was in like ninth grade. So that's you know a real impressionable time in your life. So Thanks. when you feel like you really understand what he's talking about, and it was different at the time, you really didn't have somebody really like singing like that on on the song. So it was just a different sound, and uh, it just yeah, it's always been good. He never had a point in his life where he didn't made bad music. You might not like you know a couple of his songs, but like when you go and look at his overall work, every artist got like. You know that one CD that didn't really like. Ah, I didn't really like that at all. So so. Look so so when you so when he do guys playing and nigga gonna record him giving niggas money that wasn't some corny ass shit. No, how we, the fuck was it corny? What did I tell you when we did that toy drive when it, back a long time ago? What I say, bro? I don't. I say, bro. I, I don't want to do yeah. it on camera because I don't want people I, I to think that. that I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? To be seen. Yeah, yeah. That's all. I get it. So it ain't you, corny? You would rather him took that budget and just go ahead and do it. That's all. I get it. So it but you, would, you would rather him took that budget and just go ahead and do a, a crazy I think that's what's. I think that was so cool about it. That's what was cool about he it. He took somebody else's money and gave it out. Yeah. That nigga corny, fool. Man, you I mean, love that nigga. I need to get into Kendrick Perkins on the what nigga you see be what nigga that you know that's that great of an artist getting into it with niggas sitting on the bench. I mean, well, I mean, Wale, Wale got into it with a news reporter because he called him. Drake. But, but Wale ain't corny. I mean, I mean but what other rapper? I, I give you that. I give you this about Drake. Though. What other rapper that elevated the team the way that he elevated the the the, the, the look of the rappers? When the rappers reshifted, I mean, the nigga they, had a sleepover. Man, I don't give a fuck about no rappers because yes, of do, man. Oh, he had a sleepover half court. They had a whole jersey called with North. Two who else calls Who else calls Toronto on the North other than Drake? Like he, he got a, 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 a say so of what happened, Dr. Did he? Nobody cares about the Raptors because of Drake. What the hell y'all talking about? They care about it because of Vince Carter? Or Kyle Lowry? I guess it could be Lowry. it could be Vince Carter. It could be about? Vince Carter. Oh, you tell, so you tell me Vince Carter not to steal the number one Raptor of all time? Nobody cares about the Raptors because of Drake. What the hell y'all talking about? They care about it because Vince Carter? Or Kyle Lowry? I guess it can be Vince Carter. It can be Vince Carter. Oh, yeah. So you tell me Vince Carter not to steal the number one rapper of all time? Nobody cares about him in 2015. <laughs> what you do? Nobody, nobody cares about Drake right now. Juice. Juice. How many you How many rings y'all like to make that famous talk? If I, I come here with some pink fingernails and some yellow fingernails, I'm going to hang out with him. Don't hang out with him. Maybe we not. This time, I'm going to go find out with him. I don't know what he doing spread time. I'm waiting for all the dogs. As long as he make it. So <laughs> I'm waiting for all the dogs. As long as he make all the dogs. I'm worried. And I know you been seeing, I know you seeing his tour, bro. Who? Drake never going that. The smirk telling off, bro. Come on, the man. Smirk. Who? Drake ain't never going that. The smirk telling off, bro. Come on, man. Bro, I ain't never going out to no goddamn Drake tour. Y'all think it's crazy. All the musty ass people, and I'm finna go out here and be singing some Drake shit. He know though. He talking about what? Hey, I went to Lil Baby and Dirk tour. I went to see Freddie Banks. Baby, the same Lil Baby that's canceling his, his tour dates? No, but I'm saying. They had Bankroll, Freddie at the beginning, Coy LeRae. I went to see that at the Dose Action. You, you paid to see that. She's, no way. No way. Jesus. It's Lil Baby Dirk. You know they got to have beginner performers, dog. Come on. Y'all been here before. I'm just saying. Y'all been here before. I'm just saying, y'all been here. Look, so you go on the back of Lil Baby and Dirk and you're, you're I just said I went to the damn concert. So you said you went to go to a Drake Y'all so Drake. Y'all so Drake. Y'all can't go to the Drake concert. Hey, hey, hey. Let him cook. I can't go to the Drake concert. Let him cook. No, I'm saying let him cook. I can't go to the Drake concert. I mean, literally. Let him cook. Seriously, get a boy. Play that up for your boy, man. Come on. But I'm, I'm, I'm serious, bro. You listen to Drake. You showed us your playlist. You're not listening to them songs for no reason, right? 
How many was Nobody, it? I don't care how many it is. How many songs? Why are you listening to them? Why you got 15 of them? Why you got 15 of them? 15 out of 1,392 songs? How do you know how many songs? Why you know how many songs you know what time it is? I'm just like this, boy. I'm detailed. My favorite coach at Nickel State, Coach Anderson, always told me, pay attention to the details. So I'm a detailed nigga. So since you pay attention to the details, why you don't understand why you am? He ain't a detailed nigga. He just do, he just do shit. He done bought eight big uh, bodyguard niggas. So he could do like he talked that shit, that gang shit. I got people there to do that. Nigga made his own basketball tournament so he can win. You know them type yeah, niggas. Really him, <laughs> you know them type yeah, niggas. Jack really him, bro. He got mob ties. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard the song, right? Okay, the mob, I got ties. Why you think, why you think uh, uh, Triple X, XX and Tashian, whatever his name is, the boy would have kept his mouth quiet on that live, he'd still be alive. Stop it. Dude, you hear what I'm saying? I ain't going to court for that. And that's all I got to say. Drake ain't paint his fingernails just because he like to look dainty, my nigga. Just to throw y'all off. Y'all think he little sugar, he little sweet. Got diamonds on his teeth. I'm and paint up there. And they really get people. I'm talking about Swiss cheese. <laughs> I'm talking about Swiss cheese. Alright, right. so we speaking of that, so speaking of that, or oh, this Drake shit, since I already know one of the fucking four people on your Mount Rushmore, what's the other three of y'all Mount Rushmore rappers? You go first. You go first. Rapper, uh, for all time reps, this is the 50 year, we're gonna go ahead and just do all time reps. You can do your favorite if you want to right now, what, yeah. you, what you got going on in your, in your playlist when you listen, cause you know, that shit can change every six right. months. Right. I, I'm gonna go with more with the uh, who I think top four all time is. Just okay. cause I feel like that's a more concrete uh, argument. Okay. So I think, uh, and that's what I was preparing for. And that's what, what I got in my head right now. Okay. I think uh, I think Drake, I think Wayne, I think Ho, and then uh, I would go with Tupac. Well, you I was hoping you didn't put And the reason why I would go with Tupac, because it's Tupac and Biggie, because no. of the impact of the 90s. I would say Tupac and Biggie, the biggest out of the two biggest rappers out of the 90s. I just think uh, Tupac did a little bit more in his career. And I resonated more, like in middle school, like that was where I got my intro into. Like when I wanted to listen to old music, I started with Pop. And so he just got a little bit more of a, you know, that's just my fault. And I think with only two albums, it's hard for you to be, you know, considered one of the, the greatest. Like in the top four, I think you only got two albums, bro. That's a, I don't think you can do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But you don't like my four? Who, who your four? Yeah. Since, 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 since you don't like my four? My favorite rapper all the time is the Tory. I got me some of the drinks. I don't. Know. Let me get a, a water. Appreciate the juice. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. My favorite rapper all the time is the Tory B I G. I mean, I feel like Biggie influenced everything that we see in rap today. Like, he said some bad ass shit sometimes. Dude. <laughs> y'all want me to get on that? Y'all want me to pause? But y'all want me to talk about I don't know how, I don't know how you explain it. Dude, I don't know how you explain that line. I'm going to explain it to you. If you're a real Biggie fan, you know. That shit wild, man. That, that's. Alright, shut up, let me explain. Go for it. You're a real big fan. No, 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 no. That, that's a that's a Richard Pryor comedy skit, right? I'll pull it up for you. Pause. That was. That was well, he's Hey, I'm gonna stop. 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 I'm gonna that's what it took me a while to find out that that's what it was. Hey, does that make you laugh? I don't know. But Biggie didn't know. Biggie the greatest rapper of all time. Everybody know that. You no, should. Everybody does not know that. What? You you had you had Jay Z in your top four, right? Yeah. How many lines? How many lines Jay Z still from him? Or whatever you want to say, recited, recited. Please. 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 A lot. Yeah. A whole bunch of. Them. Nobody can do what Biggie did. Biggie took some niggas that didn't even rap. Wrote a whole album for them and they took them. And they, they still eating like that today. Them. You crazy. They did not take them. Lil' Kim? She not still eating today off of that shit yeah, that she is. I was thinking more like Lil' Seeds. Lil' Seeds? That shit was trash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Junior Mafia was trash. You know it. 
They got classic. You know, I can't even name nobody else in the group other than Lil C's because that's the big, that's the name Big said all the time. I don't know nobody else in Junior Mafia. Hey, I tell you. That boy, that boy Biggie got to be a secure man to say some shit like he was saying. I mean, think about it. You see how many, you see the hoes he had? But speaking of that, I want to ask y'all this. I didn't get to do my time before. He didn't. Just I didn't even know. B.I. My time before. He didn't. Just I didn't even know. B.I. Wayne. Drake. Jacob. Wow, the fuck? Why, why, why those? Cold cool? world, bro. Cold world. Okay. Him and Drake, him and Drake got the ability to make music that make you think back. Like, damn, when he dropped this, I was here. Or I was in this point in my life. A lot of, a lot of niggas not making music like that, fool. No, 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 no. Like, Lo Shimmy, it's no point in the next hey, 10 years. Hey, you not for Lo Shimmy, bro. I gotta say this. Not you got to say this. In the next 10 years, you not gonna be like, damn. We not in this. When Lo Shimmy dropped this, I was doing it. Man, 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 you feel me? Bro, look cold, the camera, cold make music I look at this like, camera and say this some really amazing food right This is here. He praying and shit. I didn't even know. I had to talk right through what? the camera. Man, shout oh, out to the chef, man. Oh, it's cool. Oh, you feel me? Bro, look at this cold make music look at this camera and say this some really amazing food right This is. He praying and shit. I didn't even know. So I had to talk right through the room. Hey, shout out to the chef, man. Oh, it's cool. This right here is this, man. This right here is this. But like I said, bro, I don't even Cole, make, Cole, make, Cole got the same impact that Drake got. No, he does. Yeah, yeah, he do, bro. He just, he don't have, no, a, they don't have the same fans. I say that. But they have, he got the same impact. What you mean? He brought him out of his show last night. And what you think he said? Well, let me give you my mouth, really. He brought him out of his show last night. Well, let me give you my mouth, Rush Mo. I'm gonna call him to go. Sada Baby. Oh my God, I know this is happening. Big Rick. ESTG. Turn it up. Turn me up. I'm being ass. I'm being dead ass. No, oh, oh, this is my favorite right now. Okay, let me give you my mouth, Rush Mo. Let me give you my mouth, Rush Mo, right now. And like, if I'm, if it's Friday night, I done hit up the niggas. Hey, where we at tonight, baby? I, um, you know, you don't put on the good cologne. You yeah. riding down the street, you feeling good. What you gonna put on right then? Sada, baby. First, I'm going to Sada, baby. Then I'm going to Currency. You put on now. And then I'm going to Dunn Trip. I love Spitter, but and then I'm going to Dunn Trip. Who's that? I'm sick of this I'm shit. Just, I'm, I'm sick I'm of this. Shit. Right. I know. I'm right. right. fucking man. Right. man. And then. Dude, I had to fuck with you, and then. You're not playing Big Crit in the last 10 years. Nah, but I'm gonna go find me some of that well, maybe, smooth shit. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. shit. Yeah, you gotta go back. Because Crit been tripping. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. So I do. You you right. You right. You right. Mm -hmm. I gotta take him out for the real. Mm -hmm. hey, you can't even critique his he started with who? Why is y'all oh, so. Who? You said say you like the Lil Russell shit. I like that. Exactly. Ugh, pull up, pull up. Yeah, come on, nigga. Come on, don't, come on, Spin. Hey, bro, I heard other shit is buns, bro. It's it catchy, but you talking about. But let me give you my top four all time. Jeezy. I, I told you to do it all time. Okay, all time, Jeezy. He deserves, he deserves it. Pimp C. No, I don't I'm putting, that's just mine, though, all time. Like, and then I'm putting Jay-Z in there, and I'm putting Wayne in there. Why you putting Jay-Z in there? I like Jesus. Because he made hard in our life. And I remember where I was when I heard this shit. And it was very hard. You was playing for Showtime? No, I never played for Showtime. Shout out to my cousin, Coach Clyde. I'm a LA Laker. Mini Laker. You know what I'm saying? Shout oh, out. Sorry? Yeah, shout out to Coach Chris. Coach Taylor. Hey, you know Chris, Coach Taylor. Hey, you know what point in Longview the team to beat was Matt Olive? I heard. You don't, you don't remember that time. They had silk jumpsuits in there. But me and Red over here, I had it. Huh? That Quarrel store. I had to keep it. I don't know. 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 I don't Hey, look out here. Look at what they were playing with. Y'all been having a surprise. Get out of here. Y'all been having a surprise. 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 Y
I heard when the Little League fell that like you can't steal the ball like when you like five. They didn't play. Okay, Mount yeah. Olive didn't play in the church league. Oh, they played okay. the hard though. They played yeah. for the red. What y'all talking about? You say Mount Olive? You said they had two. Uh, oh, what was the church league? I thought they was out there in Quavos, man. I thought yeah, they were out there. You out. You out. Man, I bet. But what I wanted to say a while ago was something that we were talking about. I wanted to know, because when I was talking about this security, a biggie. Yeah. I wanted to know what you think about. I seen old buddy with the Kiki and her cheeks out, and people, a lot of people, like the dude insecure. What do you feel like an insecure man do? Exactly. What he did. man do. Exactly what he did. Yeah. Get online and make make it known. Make it known that you're insecure, bro. What did she get home and told him? Who you fighting? What she get home and told him? What you do at the house? Uh, 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 you know what they would do. <laughs> 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 what they say on that? <laughs> but dude, wait till you get, wait till you get to the house and do that, bro. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a superstar. I don't even know him, but he in the background. Oh, she keep keep on, bro. And she done came outside. She yeah. outside. We in this two story because of her. Yeah. Yeah. Every single one of them. Every time she there. dropped the baby, she outside. Mm -hmm. Looking good too. Yeah. Yeah. I was just gonna say that. She don't look good to you? She look like she you. always don't look like a king. She look like somebody who always look like a king. Somebody who look like a king. Who fucked you throwing that football with? I'm not saying she's the baddest thing off the ground. She had a mean ass daddy in that movie. Nah, she look good. Well, that's what I mean, Nemo. She look good, bro. That's the only thing that happened in Mendon, bro. That shit ain't happening no long, you. She looking right. Don't get her ass smashed out there, nigga, playing for the Mustang. You look good, right? That's what I mean, Nemo. She look good, bro. That's the only thing that happened in Mendon, bro. That shit ain't happening no long, you. Yo, nah, yeah, she. Nah, that's what I said. Nah. Join her. That's not your nigga playing for the So you were here. I love that. Yo, nah. Yeah, nah, that's what I said. Nah, join her. Let's ask the important questions. Oh, my bad. Come on, nobody said that. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. We're still, man. 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 We're yeah, man, I'm I'm not playing no games. I absolutely love. I don't know what he's been doing. I've been talking too much. Yeah, I guess so because I absolutely. That's the end. But back to your question. I, proved, I told you I was good. That's the stuff that an insecure man would do. You get online, show that you feeling some type of way. Mm -hmm. Bro, said that. No, dude. I mean, this is Usher. Don't get me wrong. We got home. I'll be like, damn, babe. <laughs> I ain't know you like Usher that much. <laughs> I would have said something to her, but it's behind, you know. In the confinement of our house, I'm not, I'm not getting on. I ain't never been that type, bro. I'm not getting online with none of this. I'm not a person. I ain't I always been a type, like, in a relationship, man. Just keep your business at home. Yeah, yeah. You know, the thing about it is, you can just, you can do some stuff, say some stuff like, oh, I do this, this, and that. Yeah. And then your partner go out and do something, and then you don't do nothing about it. It, yeah. just, look, it just look bad to me. I'm not a person. I ain't I always been a type, yeah. like, in a relationship, man. Just keep your business at home. Yeah, yeah. The thing about it is, you can just, you can do some stuff, say some stuff like, oh, I do this, this, and that. Yeah. And then your partner go out and do something, then you don't. But. And nigga, work harder. Yeah. Nigga, get your, hey, put that chip on your shoulder, yeah. nigga. She do that. Hey, right, baby, let's have a conversation. I ain't like that. I understand you like him. In the back of my head, I'm like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Just wait till I like, get. I'm finna turn up now. Not yeah. in. Not fucking with no I'm bitches. Gonna sing it too. Yeah, like, nigga, hey, I'm finna go act. Whatever I'm doing, I'm finna do it harder so I come meet you at the top. So next time, nigga, you gonna think about. Man, I got a nigga at the crib that really yeah. that nigga. Hey, this nigga cool and shit, but he 45 still. That nigga worked what out. Girl named the one that goes a little too much. Nah, other shit cool. I ain't heard about the yeah. dress. The dress wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Nah, it wasn't. A little cheeks out. You might want to do it. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 2023, they women. That's that's the thing. It's nothing that even. It's nothing even. You never. Your mind don't even think about it if you with a woman. Man, what's under there? You already seen it. You go to deep level and you gonna see that. That's a fact. Easily. So you don't see better, you don't see You don't see some You don't see niggas. You don't see niggas with that young boy, bro. Ghost out there. Hey, that feel about 8 o'clock. They try to transform. I was going to put up barriers and shit, nigga. Yeah. But when I first moved in, bro, that used to be the spot you go chilly. I swear to God. All right, so I think. Yeah, that's the spot you killing. To speak on the insecurity deal, though, like, you can have insecurity, like things that you're insecure about without being insecure. You insecure about anything? Uh, I think so. What you insecure about? Uh, 
I don't think it's anything like on uh, like a uh, on like a public level. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Man, I, he couldn't block me. Nah, it's definitely not. <laughs> 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 that's not a thought. I know how to get him started up. Mm-hmm. That's not a thought, worry, or concern. Mm-hmm. Uh, nah, I just feel like everybody has trigger points. Like, you know, and I think like in, with their relationships, like your, your girl should know how to trigger you and to get you upset. I don't think that's necessarily like something you're worried about, but that does mean you're insecure about whatever your trigger point is. So I think every man got a trigger point. I disagree. Okay, Bill. Every man got a trigger point. I disagree. Okay, yeah, I, think I, I understand what you're saying, but I think it's a separation. Yeah. If my female know this shit trigger me, don't call me out my motherfucking name just yeah. because you mad. Yeah. That don't mean I'm insecure and I think that you that I'm really a bitch or a whole ass nigga. Yeah. I'm just telling you, nigga, I need some respect right now. That ain't make, I don't feel like this making me insecure. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like just saying, hey, let's get this boundary right. Let's, hey, hey, that's the that's the line right there. You got to relax. Because if I'm mad, my mom and them raised me, don't call nobody no bitch. Right. I don't know about no nigga, but they already told me about a woman, don't call her no bitch. So I still won't say it if I get called it. I'm just, huh. Yeah. It's going to be some tough words. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I she like get that. different. I hit the same carry. I'm going to deal with that. But insecurities do come with people too when it comes to that um like we talking about I say I see a lot of people post let that high school po- popularity go. Yeah. But I be like, damn. Let it go. Ain't, it could be let that resentment go too. Cause maybe you are mad that like I know this for a fact. If you did football or something and you don't you don't make it in football long, you if you do anything else, somebody like you and they lying. Yeah. You jumping in they lying. Yeah. Like, nigga, if you write a book, why you why this nigga write a book? He's supposed to be in the league. Yeah. Nigga do a podcast. Why you doing a podcast? He's supposed to be in the league. Who said fuck I'm supposed to be in the league? I don't yeah. know about three niggas made it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I know about ten that made it to a camp. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know people that I might have played with here and there, but talking about people I can see and know that made it to a camp, bro. So when I see that, I be like, damn, nigga, I might just be somebody that's into different shit. Like, I be driving and I see some architects. I be like, damn, that's a cold little, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's, I like that little gold-ass statue type shit. Yeah. I don't know. It nah, just, I, think, I think, like, it's... Yeah. Right. I don't know. It nah, just, I, think, I think, like, it's especially different, like, in our community where high school means a lot. Like, that's true. High school sports, I mean, we're pretty much the Dallas Cowboys of Lonely, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody cares about it, you know. Everybody want they just do it. Everybody want they just do it. Everybody want to get the properly. Like, that's just like the area that we grew up in. Football for sure. Football for sure, but just like what you do in high school, you know, that's what you get remembered by. Bro, I'd be happy to see a nigga like that. So when you see me, I ain't gonna be like, yeah, nigga, you want shit in high school. Nigga, we look at eye to eye. Who the fuck am I? So I can't be like nigga, cause I a nigga a nigga might say I'm top five wide receiver all the time. Yeah. Guess what though? It'll long say about 4 a.m. They ain't got yeah, shit, to <laughs> shit to do with that top five. That shit ain't got shit to do with that top five. Man, I gotta go to work in the morning, man. Man, this motherfucker, motherfucker breast paint all in my face in the morning. God damn, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, excuse me, Africans. Africans in the morning. They don't be wearing deodorant. Summertime, it go down. I Some people kind of, but I feel like everybody had their own sauce. Yeah. yeah. I really feel like everybody had their own sauce. Like some people that, you know, some some women don't like football niggas. Some right. women love them. Right. Right. And we from we from a city where she most time the football nigga gonna be that nigga. That's a fact. 
But as time go, shit, once you ain't in the NFL, then what are you? You don't give a fuck about no nigga with no two degrees. Right. Nigga, you, you graduated. Okay. But can we admit there are people that do hold on to their high school popularity? Like they feel like they're the same person. Yeah. I, I can believe that, but yeah. I don't think none of us are one of them. Well, I don't I say we all was popular in high school. But I mean, it's, it's more yeah, about your success. It's yeah. more about your success in life. If the last time you were successful was in high school, high school then yeah. Then guess what you gonna lean yeah. on the last time you were successful? Yeah. The last time you feel like you was him. We all done went on the deal. Yeah, so you, you know, yeah. you complete more in your life, I mean, you got more I feel like I got I feel like I got more talent than some football shit. I ain't, some people don't. I be like, nigga, y'all don't even know. I don't even fucking like football like that, I'm nigga. Definitely. Yeah, man, what? I wonder why you said that. Hey, my nigga, D-Mar, I wonder why you said that. Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I think we had the same, like, portion, bro, but you, I don't know what you did. Over I was hungry. That nigga went hang I was hungry. I can't wait to see the playback. I can't wait. I was trying to take your video. It's a bad sport. But the end, the end it out though, man. You know we we talking about some high school shit, which might not everybody in the world know. But I do want to speak on this, man, because we all came in contact with this man, yeah. and it's been a dark summer for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. And uh, I know I ain't had the closest relationship with him, but I know he was a real good dude. When I was in high school, anything y'all would like to say about Mr. Brewer and his, uh, you know, untimely death? I think I can start, but I'm like you. For one, me and Demo, we the same age. We graduated. Uh, mm -hmm. We didn't have the privilege to have him as our principal, and we just talked about it yesterday. Yeah, we, we had uh, we had Milton Wallace, right? Yep. I we knew that Mr. Brewer was coming, but we had Mr. Wallace. Yo, I, I, I think about this though. We was gone, bro. We out the way. Me and him, we went to college. So my relationship with him was came from me being on the sideline taking pictures. Mm -hmm. He don't know me. I don't really know him. He always made a point to come up to me. The first time I met him, he came up to me. How you doing, young man? I'm, you know, Mr. Brewer. I told him my name. Every time after that, he made a point, bro. He would come from anywhere, tap me on the shoulder, shake my hand. So that just lets you know, like, his character, bro. He, I, I see it. Now I'm seeing it everywhere. Mm -hmm. He didn't meet a stranger. Right. He always made himself available. He always came up and spoke. So I always had respect for him. Yeah. So to see him, you know, his untimely death, bro. The whole city, you see how, you see the love that he got from our entire city. Right. And he not from here. That's what. He not from here. That's what made me really start yeah. thinking about stuff, though. When I seen him, yeah. like, cause my relationship with him was always just cool. Like you said, I, like I always say, he always made me not feel like a nigga. Right. Like when he yeah. when he came up to me. He didn't make me feel like somebody would be like, man, let me get away from him. He a little wild card. Yeah. It was just like an embrace. Yeah. All right, brother, hope you all right. Yeah. And he keep it moving. And sometimes cats like us, that's all we need, man. Yeah. We don't, because people be all day trying to beat you down. It's just good to walk up to a brother, a solid brother, and he make you feel all right for that day. Yeah. Some simple shit. And that's all I remember from him. Just not a bad interaction yeah, with him. Right. Just never, damn, he was kind of moody today. Yeah, yeah. It was just the same consistent brewer mm -hmm. all the time. And she, when Milton with her in ninth grade, that bitch was fun as hell. When he got there, it was still fun as hell, but it was cause it was a little more structured. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You saw, I saw, you know saying? Yeah, you saw, I saw the impact on, on, on Facebook. I really, yeah, that shit was wild. I rather get on Facebook yeah. when I got on there, you know, you start seeing people. And I kind of bring up the part where, you know, people that was in that play sports or whatever, they always say, hey, man, this coach, mm -hmm. this coach didn't like me, so I quit or I, I got kicked off the team or whatever. Mm -hmm. Some of the people on Facebook that I've seen, like, you know, some of the rough, some of the rougher people, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know they was just talking about, they, they had positive things to say about one of the realest people, the, um, long you legend. Yeah, one of the or real sponsors like we ever had. So and, uh, you, you saw that impact that he made. Probably piggyback on what you're speaking about. Like I have him as a boss, and so that's a whole different dynamic because that's the guy you know to do the iron firing around there. So you know just to see like the things that he would do to make sure the kids made it. Like a lot of the teachers weren't okay with some some of the policies, but Brewer simply he said, I don't remember nothing I learned in in, in high school. I can't tell you what I learned in ninth grade, tenth grade, but look where I'm at now. It's not about it's about getting the kids to the next level, and I think that's one of the things that the graduation rate with the lead and sending people that didn't want to act right in class, getting them to some a situation that suits them. 
like going to that lead academy, graduating early, so you got an opportunity to do your job if school wasn't for you. I think what he did on campus, it's, I haven't, don't even know what the real impact is because the first meeting we had this year, usually we get uh, a Marvin Gaye song or some type of like church song from Brewer to start the year off. Man. We're not going to have that. Yeah. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna you be can't tears. Feel, it's you gonna can't be, feel them. Sure. You can't, like, that's the thing. No. Like, y'all feel no. the impact, but like, I saw this dude on a daily. Like, it's it's gonna impact. It's, it's, man, it's, 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 school, it's, so gonna, it's a family of them, man. Yeah. It's like, y'all yeah. live. They, y'all, they, you know what I'm talking I think Longview, you know, like, man. the most got ex Longview people yeah. as it might be. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, fool. But at the end of the day, fam. I'm glad y'all ain't good. Yeah, good. Hey, is there anything y'all wanna uh wanna promote or put out there? Yeah, I know Spence, we gotta talk about the guards, but let them know where they can find your, I'm your sure. stuff at. Uh, like, I'm, I'm sure, sure. Uh, a lot of the, the current 2023 football East Texas talk, you can get on the uh, guard now block spot. Uh, my YouTube page, uh Spencer Company, just a lot of high school football and a little music talk. But yeah, that's what right. we got going on. Cool, I still uh, take pictures if anybody needs. Yeah, that's me. 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 Like I always appreciate these gentlemen coming to, you know what I'm saying, yes, eat good with me. And like I always ask, man, why with me?